Are you there? Are we connected? Excellent. Truly excellent. Now, we may begin. <coughs> First, you must create a vessel. Select the head that you prefer. I mean, they, they all kind of look pretty deformed. They only look like big heads here. Let's put this one here, I guess. Uh, this has buttons on it. That's pretty nice. Select the legs that you prefer. This is your body. Do you accept it? Yes. Yes, I do. Excellent. You have created a wonderful form. Now, let us shape its mind as your own. What is its favorite food? Why, how is pain or cold a food? Let's go with sweet. Sweet's nice. Your favorite blood type? I, I guess AB. Why, why, what is D type? Also, why blood type? What color does it like most? Let's go with blue. Please give it a gift. Kindness, mind, ambition, bravery, or voice. Let's finally give the silent protagonist a voice. But for now, we're going to go with kindness. How do you feel about your character creation? It will not hear. Love. Have you answered honestly? Yes. You acknowledge the possibility of pain and seizure. Dear God. <laughs> Understood. Name your vessel. Now, let's see. I have an idea. I want to do papyrus. Papyri. Hope that's spelling this right. <laughs> I could really ruin it if I'm spelling it wrong. Prepare your name. Your vessel. Papyrus. Papyrus. An interesting co coincidence. <laughs> and what about the creator? Ooh. Let's see. Let's go with Sans. My two favorite characters from Undertale. Sands. How interesting. Sands. Thank you for your time. Your answers. Your wonderful creation will now be discarded. No one can choose who they are in this world. Your name is Chris! <laughs> Chris, if you do not wake up, we will be late for school. There's gold, Mom! I will wait outside for you, alright? Now, we'll say sadly with, uh, with recording this, I've actually been. I've actually tried this three times now. And hopefully, <laughs> this time around, maybe. We'll actually get a good recording going, but I actually have already seen all of this, and it's, it's kind of dawning on me a little bit. So I do apologize if I'm not as blind to this playthrough as I should be. But I wanted to be—I wanted to give you guys a full playthrough. A cactus. There's not much to say about it. There are crayons in the drawer. Their labels have been have long faded, and there is no green. It's only you. There are many books. Tales of Snails, a storybook, 
Snails do not have tails. A scientific refutation. Can snails help your garden? Um, not really. And a signed copy of the history of humans and monsters by Gerson Boom. Now that is something I would love to read. There is some white fur stuck in the drain. There's some cinnamon batter cake on the soap top. Cookie cutters for gingerbread monsters and gingerbread humans. Trash can, but somehow it ha it's emitting a pleasant floral scent. There's a photo in the fridge. Just of you, your mother, and your brother. It's a landline phone, but you already have a cell phone. It's a TV. Doesn't seem to even be plugged in anymore. It's Cheriel, the beloved living room chair. Interesting how the chair is named Cheriel when the when Goat Mom is named Toriel. Chris, there you are. You might still be the make it. Chris, it is be a beautiful day today, is it not? I hope it stays this way when Arazriel visits next week. But I wonder, after the excitement of university, will he still enjoy coming home to this little town? He doesn't have an arm. I just noticed that. I'm dying as a police officer. Can we talk about the fact there's still ominous music in the background, that's very happy music? Almost the game knows I've played this multiple times. <laughs> so, does everyone have a. Oh, wait, that's why there's multiple. Oh. Oops. I've been recording two separate entities of this game in the background. Wonderful. Oh, Chris, we thought you weren't coming today. We're doing group projects this month. Uh, so walk around and find a partner, okay? I'm gonna go to this side, because I love Tim. Or Timmy, excuse me. <laughs> but I can't speak in that voice. And she literally just laid an egg. It's a black and white hardball and egg. Sadly, it seems like already has a partner. I like how the egg already has a partner even though it's just hatched. You know, Chris, show up early next time. I ended up having to partner with Snowy. Now he keeps turning to me and saying, Howdy, partner, like a cowboy. Let's go and say hi to Snowy. of hoops for us. So she used me instead. That's her origin story. And she's just texting. Hey Chris, what's up? Did you lose your pencil again? Hey, you want the candy cane one or the one with lights on it? Huh? You want to be partners? I'm um, sorry, Bertie already asked me. But I could ask Miss Alfie if we could make a group of three. I'll ask if you're sure. Okay, I'll ask. Miss Alfie, um, is it okay if we have a group of three? Hey, what? No, I didn't approve of the support. What? But, but Chris doesn't have a... Noelle, what were you saying? She was just saying we're fine being alone. Actually, I just wanted to know if... Noelle, can you please pick up? Ominous um, oranges. Also, the fact that Susie, the S's are fives. Still conflicted about that. Am I late? Oh, no, no, no. You're fine, we we're just gonna choosing partners for the next group project and um Susie, you're with Chris. Great. And now that's everyone here, I'll write the assignment. Uh has anyone seen the chalk? This is the third time it's gone missing and y you all know I can't start a class without some. How about this? If no one speaks up, then everyone gets in trouble. <laughs> I like how she specifically looks at Susie on this one. That anyone, please? Hey, there might be a box in the supply closet. Miss Alpies, why don't Susie and I... G good idea, Millel. Susie, since you came in late, or last, why don't you get it for me? Whatever. 
And Chris, can you go with her and make sure she um, actually gets it and um, stays out of trouble? Thanks, Chris. See you later. And <laughs> she just ate the truck. And she was caught red-handed. Chris, didn't see you there. Hey, you didn't see anything just now, did you? Hmm, you can't even say. Chris? Hey, let me tell you a secret. Why people piss me off. And here's where this trouble comes in. You think just because you don't say anything. I can't tell exactly what you're thinking. It's over, I caught Susie in all the chalk. This was her last chance, now she'll finally be expelled. Come on Chris, don't act shocked, you know it's true. Everyone's wanting, waiting for it, everyone wants it. So congrats Chris, you got me, I'm done for. Just let me say one little thing. Seems like a waste to get expelled just for having a snack. So Chris, if I know you're gonna pull the trigger, why don't I just get expelled for some real carnage? Chris, how do you feel? About losing your face. Dear God, her face right there is horrifying. <laughs> this is some of nightmares there. Eh. Chris, you've got a good mother. It'd be a shame to make her bury your child. Alright, let's get this over with. We'll get more chalk, mosey back to class, and then Chris, you'll do our project. How's that sound? Don't bother answering. If you haven't gotten it by now, your choices don't matter. Let's go, freak. Hey, you walk pretty fast, but then again, Guess you've got a lot of experience running away, huh? Come on, freak. I think it's interesting that you call this freak considering that we're the only human in a school full of monsters. Well, here's the closet. Too bad. We were just starting to have fun. <laughs> that is a very ominous closet. Hey, Chris, is it me or is it really dark in there? What's the hold up, Chris? Are you going to go in or what? Fine, if you're gonna be a wimp, then I'll. We'll do what? We'll both go at the same time. It's <laughs> a lot of paper. See, why are you so scared? There's nothing in here but old papers. Let's try to find a light switch. I just want to point out there's no, like, this is just a hallway. This is not a closet. There are very many walls, too. That's weird, I can't find a switch. Guess it's further in. It's a very. Very long hallway. Uh, kind of big for a closet, huh? You think we have reached the end by now? Hey, Chris. I think this closet's uh broken. There aren't any walls. I object. I have found tons of walls. Well, we worked hard enough. If Alfie wants shock so bad, she can get it herself. Let's split. What the? Hey, this is a funny list out. Let us. <laughs> the floors. It is falling out from under us. And here we go again. So falling down a hole gave me armor. And also turned my skin blue. Apparently. Also this is highly amusing, the echoing sounds. <laughs> At times you see it flickering. The light only you can see. By second nature you reach out and... <laughs> Save. Hey 
Hey little guy, what's up? Always waving back at me. That's kind of, that's cool. Hey little guy. Let's keep moseying on down here. Okay. What, what is this? It's too dark to see anything. I don't like that. I, I don't... What was that? It's too hard to see anything. I don't like the eyes. I really don't like the eyes. This place is very creepy. There was another monster up there. I saw it. It's hard to see anything. I, I legit don't know what those things are. The eyes are bleeding. I'm gonna go down this way for ears. Oh, item. There's something going inside. Take it. Yes. You got the glow shard. I have no idea what that does. Body inventory. Use glow shard. I can't even use it. Simming shard is use is unknown. Okay. okay, the eyes are literally bleeding. <laughs> this is not good. Hey, it's red. Oh! That means it can fire at me now. Nope, nope, nope. It's gonna walk, gonna mosey on out of there. You bathe your body in the light. A power shines within you, breaking through the darkness. Any pain you may have melt had melted away. Eye puzzle. Oh yeah. And... Boop. Boop. Puzzle's done. Go on to the next one. Yeah, it's not bleeding. That eye is. So I guess whenever the eye is bleeding, you can kind of get uh, more like an idea where to go. Also, I don't know what this is or why it's like dying, but I'm... I really don't like when that happens. See, they're hiding monsters in there. See, they're hiding monsters in there. <laughs> hey, back off. Come any closer now. Cri Chris? Phew. Hey, don't scare me like that, dumbass. Unless you want to get clocked in the face. Anyway, enough screwing around. We gotta find a way out of here. Um, where is here anyway? It doesn't matter. You got us into this mess. You get us out. Yeah, how about no? Lead the way, Chris. Yeah, let's not do that. How, can I go up here real quick? What's up here? Can't do that. Also like how she also got armor. Oh my god, never mind, you walk way too slow. I am sprinting. Let's see, that is... This place is in shambles. That's most definitely true. Hey, Chris, there's someone up there waving at us. Any idea what they want? <laughs> that does not look like fun. Run, Chris! So I'm calling it now. I think that Susie is very... is like a very, like, uh, abused child. And it's kind of like those problem childs always get, like, seen as... they have issues and they try to, like, lash out with anger. Instead of, like, hate or instead of, like, uh... Trying to actually just be friendly, you know? Chris, down here. Definitely not healthy, though. But I will definitely be trying to save if I get the option to. But let me first save and stay alive! Let me not die! I am taking so much damage. That was literally tracking at me. Eh, we survived. And everything is darker down here. Neat. Oh, you're not dead. Sweet. Got any idea what the heck this place is? Me neither. Wonder if there's anyone in that building up there. Uh, this looks interesting. Looks like a shop, but the door is locked and no one's inside. It's locked. It's locked. I'm gonna assume that was locked too. In front of you, a castle looms beneath the empty town. A black geyser emerges from it, piercing and instantly into the sky. The power of this place shines within you. Save. A castle. Why the hell is there a castle inside a supply closet? Welcome, heroes. Who's there? Do not be alarmed. I am not your enemy. Please, come forward. Both of you. Welcome, I am the prince of this kingdom. The kingdom of darkness. Chris, Susie, there is a legend of this land. A legend that one day, two heroes of light will arrive and fulfill the ancient prophecy foretold by time and space. Please, heroes, listen to my tale. No. Yes, I'm gonna listen. Very well, then. Maybe on a genocide run I'll do a, uh, a new... Once a part of time, the legend was whispered among shadows. 
And it was a legend of hope. It was a legend of dreams. It was a legend of light and of dark. This is the legend of Delta Rune. Interesting. For millennia, light and dark have lived in balance, bringing peace to the world. What if this harmony were to shatter? I also want to point out that the dark guy there was also the dark guy that just attacked me earlier. Terrible calamity would occur. The sky will run black with terror. And the land will crack with fear. Then, her heart pounding, the earth will draw her final breath. Only then, shining with hope, Three heroes appear at World's Edge. A human. A monster. And a prince from the dark. Only they can seal the fountains. I like how there's like two going up and one going down, so like there's one one's kinda evil, two are good. Only then will balance be your sword. And the world save from destruction. Today, the fountain of darkness. The geyser that gives this land form. Stands tall at the center of the kingdom. But recently, another, fo another fountain has appeared on the horizon. And with it, the balance of light and dark begins to shift. Chris, Suji, thank you for listening to my long tale. I deeply believe you two are the heroes of legend. That, despite whatever enemies you may face, you two have the courage to save the world. Delta Warriors, please, won't you accept your destiny? <laughs> uh, nah. Wh what Me? Some kind of hero or something? You've got the wrong person. But, but, Suzy, without you, the, the world will... So what if the world gets destroyed? It's none of my damn business. It might even be kind of fun, honestly. Anyway, Chris, if you want to play with Tamless Weirdo, stick around. I'm going to find a way out of here. Susie, wait. <laughs> I like how he has a bike. Ho ho ho. The heroes are already running away. And they didn't even know I was here. My dad's going to make me son of the month. Who the hell are you? I'm the bad guy. You clowns want to steal our dark fountain, huh? And, steal picture you guys as clowns, save the world from eternal darkness, huh? Eh? Don't try to deny it. We both know you'll go east. It's your only way home. But I, Lancer, won't let you go there. And I've got a flawless two-step plan to ensure it. Step one, I thrash you. Step two, you lose. Hmm. Nice plan, kid. But really? Yeah, actually. Mind if we use it on you instead? And she went into that horrifying like, look. I'm gonna act. For those of you who may not know, any kind of under or with Undertale and I'm assuming this game too, acting is a way of essentially talking it out to your to your opponent. You tell Lancer to watch out for Susie's attack, he readies himself. Oh clowns is like a fuel by victory. Nope. Uh, I'm gonna compliment him. You tell Lancer you can't tell the difference between his clothes and his body. He seems flattered. But you can essentially act and spare them instead of actually trying to kill them. He would need your help. So what are you guys doing after this? I like how he's trying to talk to us. Like, you see this kind of like as a game. Switch again randomly to appear competent. Compliment. You try to compliment Lancer again. Pretty season is here. His sack probably goes back up. Did you not realize I can mask myself with steam levels? Oh. <laughs> wait, wait, wait a second. 
My wife's running out of fuel. Alright, you punkaroos. You had the luck of the draw this time, but next time, the loser will be you. Bye, losers. I gotta get home before dinner. You won. <laughs> Sweet. Are you two okay? Allow me to interest me more properly, I am... Jeez, you take off that hood? I can barely hear you under there. Um, alright. Hello everyone, I'm Rasso, Brow Sai. Chris, Susie, it's ever so wonderful to meet you. I'm certain we're going to become great friends, and... Best way to leave is these, right? Yes, that's where we'll... Got it. See, it's cool, Chris. Um, I suppose just the two of us, then. Chris, I'm a prince, but... I, um, certainly don't have any subjects. I've been waiting alone here, um, my whole life for two to arrive, so I'm really happy to meet you. I hope we can be good friends, eh, Chris? Let's try to find Susie. She must be the to the southeast. You can lead the way, Chris. Let's go and mosey down down there and speed up. Let's go and say, for outside, the Lonely Prince is not your ally. The power of Fluffy Boy shines within you. <laughs> it's like how we're calling it that. Onward. And training dummies. Oh, Chris, training dummy I made. Now seems like a great chance to prepare for the enemy. Would you like me to teach you how to fight? Yes. Okay, get ready, Chris. See that heart, Chris? That's your soul, the culmination of your being. Within, it holds your will, your compassion, and the fate of the world. If it goes hit, you and your friends will lose HP. If everyone's HP reaches zero, they will lose the battle. So please, take care to avoid the enemy's attacks. Ready? Let's try dodging. This is much easier than the previous fight. Great job, Chris. You're a natural. Anyway, after the enemy attacks, our turn, Chris. First, I'll teach you how to fight. Now, fighting is unnecessary in this world. There's no harm in a thorough lesson. Let's try fighting. Wow, Chris. That was an amazing attack. Have you done this before or something? Okay, next let's try defending. Simply defend, and the enemy attack will hurt you less. Not only that, but you also gather TP. Watch you on your bar on the left. I'll explain that next. Great job, Chris. Now that you've gathered TP, how about spending that TP on one of my spells? Because you hit the enemy enough, it gets tired. Or it got tired. Now if I use my fast fight spell on it, it'll fall asleep and we'll win peacefully. Rasai cast pacify. Great, Chris. We would have won the battle by now. Now I have just a little more to teach you. Acting through this, even the most violent enemies can be defeated through various acts of kindness. Chris, though, was just a dummy. Why not give it a hug? I'm absolutely hugging Ralstai first. <laughs> Chris, um, I don't think um, this is what you're supposed to be doing. I also like how the Prince of Darkness is blushing, but... Act. Hug. You hug the dummy. Aw, that's great, Chris. Each enemy is a different act that satisfy them. When an enemy is satisfied, its name turns yellow. When that happens, you can defeat it by sparing it. If you spare all the enemies you meet, we'll never have to fight. I am an absolutely spare this dummy. Yes. Chris, spare the dummy. Great job, Chris. That'd be good. end in a real battle. I'm really happy I had the chance to teach you, Chris. Oh, that was fun. You're a wonderful student, Chris. And uh, in case you ever need a refresher, I... Here, I wrote a manual for you and Susie. <laughs> oh my, the great door is opened. No wonder Lance was able to come through. Chris, once you pass through the door, our adventure will really begin. A journey foretold exactly by the prophecy. But, Chris, I believe your choices are important too. This world is full of all kinds of people, Chris. In the end, how we treat them makes all the difference. Let's try our best to get by without fighting. If we can manage to do that. I believe this tale may have a happy ending. Otherwise, I fear that you may not find the result favorable. Oh, I'm sorry. Is that too much to ask? I can handle it. Chris, I knew you were right here the moment I saw you. Let's try our best, alright? That is a giant door, by the way. With the door closed behind you, your adventure will truly begin. The power of adventure shines within you. 